estimated that 10 million tons of plastic waste finds its way into the ocean annually, a move that has caused dire implications to the ecosystem, heightening efforts to eradicate marine pollution in the country as well as the whole world. The ripple effect of plastic pollution is partly to blame for the dwindling fish species in the ocean. The situation is posing a security threat in the area as fishermen in Lunga Lunga are forced to illegally cross the border in search of fish stocks for their families. Wako vijana miyamoja karibu na shirini wameshikwa na nevi wameshikwa wako hapa kwale. Mimi naomba tafadhali ingililia swala hili. Deputy President William Ruto underscored the need to tame plastic pollution in order to safeguard the fishing and tourism industries. Together with various stakeholders, the government has initiated robust mechanisms including a take-back system by manufacturers, clean-up exercises in various counties, and increased recycling efforts. I direct the Ministry of Environment and Forestry to introduce a monthly national clean-up day to be marked in all counties, towns, villages, schools, colleges, and universities. During celebrations to mark the World Environmental Day in Kwale County, Ruto reiterated the government's commitment to protect mangrove forests along the coastline, directing that 40,000 seedlings be planted. As carbon-rich ecosystems, mangroves can make an important contribution to the country's nationally determined contributions despite their limited spatial extent. In Kenya, Carbon stored in mangroves is estimated to be 10 times higher than in terrestrial forests. Environment Cabinet Secretary Keriako Tobiko called for the enactment of the Mangrove National Plan to safeguard the ecosystem, sentiments echoed by Kwale Governor Salim Vuria. It is an ambitious plan, Your Excellency, but which has not been budgeted for. And I see a potential, Your Excellency, to uplift the livelihoods of communities. Juni Karisa for Channel One News from Kwale County.